Proposition 63 is strikingly similar to a number of gun control laws passed in California this summer. I spoke with those for and against it to hear their thoughts on even more gun control. Ready, shoot. California is known to have some of the strictest gun laws. This November, there is another gun control measure on the ballot, and many firearm owners I spoke with aren't happy about it. I'm not saying they're angry. I'm not saying they're bothered. They're furious. A yes vote on Proposition 63 would require a background check to buy ammunition, prohibit the possession of large capacity magazines, mandate individuals to report a theft within five days and more starting in 2017. I think the original intent was that somehow that would have an impact on the criminals in our society not having an ability to create more havoc or damage. Dr. David Schoenfeld, who was on the Sandy Hook Advisory Commission, and other supporters say the high-capacity magazine ban will prevent damage. The high-capacity assault weapons do allow a lot of people to be killed in a very short period of time. And quite honestly, from what we heard for testimony, uh, minutes and even seconds make a big difference. Reloading a magazine quite literally takes a second. So opponents say prohibiting high-capacity magazines will make little difference. You can have as many as rounds as you want, and you can reload as many times as you want. These magazines, they look the same, but this one is actually a high-capacity magazine. If you look on the back, it holds 17 9mm rounds. It has an extension, so it shoots about 22 bullets. Now, if Prop 63 passes, gun owners will still be able to use a 10-round magazine. That means they can consecutively shoot 10 bullets. Requiring background checks to purchase ammunition is also a big plus for the women against gun violence. I think it's a good way to, um, you know, make sure people aren't buying ammunition who aren't allowed to have guns. They might not be allowed to have guns, but others say criminals will always find a way. Requiring a background check is basically just harassing honest people to continue to behave honestly. Bad guys are bad guys for a reason, and they don't go in and lawfully purchase handguns in high capacity magazines. Responsible gun owners and supporters of more gun control can agree on one thing. Safety is the number one priority. Palmer tells me the one aspect of Prop 63 that he is not against is that it would increase the penalty for stealing a gun. If Prop 63 passes, stealing a gun that is less than $950 would be a felony punishable by up to three years in prison. For more details on Prop 63, go to our website at uscannenbergmedia.com.